Good afternoon. Today is the 1st of September and this is part three of a slightly shambolic shuffle around the uh, Classic Car Sunday video every month at the departure lounge in Alton, Hampshire. I do apologize for the wind noise viewers and the background noise and all sorts of other things, at least we haven't got any singing today. So we've got something rather special here, 1993-1994 Citroen XM Prestige. Someone's got lots of wood in the interior, maybe sand on this prestige model. I don't know what engine this is, this is a petrol, I can tell you that for sure. I prefer it to be a V6, but if it's a 2 litre turbo then I don't mind, that'd be just fine for me. Next to it, Fiat Coupe, 96.97 on a P. This is the uh, 16 valve turbo model, which is, uh, which is interesting. The one I had driven, which was back in 2022, was a 20 valve turbo. The only thing I found was the steering was a little bit disappointing. It just didn't lack, didn't lack, sorry, it didn't have as much feel as I imagined it would do. I'm hoping to drive another one at some point soon, and then I can actually be certain about whether it's just that car. Hmm, Ford Anglia here. VW was an odd ethics play. I wonder if Ford registered this themselves. Obviously, we haven't got that old one litre Kent engine in here anymore. We've got um, a Toyota Vauxhall XE engine, because of course. Of course we have, and it's now a sort of one, two, three Anglia, which the supermodels were. And uh, another Chevy here, uh, Chevy 31 or C31, I don't know. No good this sort of thing, viewers. That is a 59. And a Wolsey Hornet Mark III from 1968-69. It's the first to sort of showcase the type of doors that would then be used in the Mini Mark III's from 69 onwards. This one's an auto. Imagine the sort of demographic profile of these was maybe an older buyer who'd be having something like that, which would make sense with the automatic transmission. 7273 Volkswagen Beetle. It says California on it, but obviously it's right-hand drive, so... Maybe uh, that's just something that was written on there. Hello to uh, Betty. Slightly later here, this one's Maggie. Um, 73, 74 and an M. And that is, uh, again, very nice. Modified, of course, but we don't mind that, do we, a little bit? This is also modified as Mark III Capri. That's a Mark II grill. 87, 80, sorry, 86, 87 on a D. I think this is probably a laser or something. Doesn't wear the interior, but I could be wrong. It's been debadged, so I'm not 100% sure. We like this, viewers. Look at this. A uh, lovely Range Rover Classic Vogue SE with leather interior as well. Probably with the uh, wonderful 3.5 V8. Um, what's that? 1991 to 1992. Jeep Wrangler. Let's hope this is a petrol one. Yeah, we'll soon find out. Oh no, I have to walk away from that. Here, I'm afraid. Keep going. Hmm. Mark IV Escort Cabriolet, 8990 on G, with an RS Turbo wheel in it. Does that mean we've got the RS Turbo modifications, or it just, just looks like we have? Answer in the comments section below, viewers. Next we've got a Triumph Toledo. We've got Dolomite Sprint wheels on there, which is a very common modification, which I don't mind at all. Yeah. But yeah, definitely Toledo with short boot. Um, 7273 on an L. And then an early Capri 2.8 injection, 8283 on a Y. And this is the uh, an early five-speed model. Purpot wheels, all very correct apart from that. Um, sorry, including that, including your Purpot wheels. Very nice, I've driven one of these, it was a four speed, it was 82 in forest green uh, back in 2020. The brakes were um, terrible. 83, 84 Triumph Acclaim, yes please viewers. And a non-rusty Acclaim as, as well. Um, not the top of the range one, we haven't got electric windows or anything, but we've got the automatic gearbox, it's the HLS Triomatic. I've driven the Acclaim recently viewers, it was, uh, it was very nice. Very nice indeed. Another UNOS here, again with um, Interesting gear levigator and gear knob there. Very interesting. There are very few of these actually, these if they haven't been modified. And then a late Mark II Escort, 1980 to 81 on a W. 
It's a 1.3, you know, it's probably the most popular engine in the Mark II, wasn't it? Ford Falcon Futura, second Falcon Futura we've seen today. The sports coupe was a little bit smaller than this. This is maybe a more standard shape for them. And then another Anglia, that's what, three, four, um, that we've seen today. I wonder if that's the original engine in here. It may not be. Still bad, just an Anglia. Anglia Super, sorry, 123E would be there. It's an Anglia Super. 71, 72 Stag, Mark 1, manual, with the upgrade alloy wheels, which also you find on the Triumph 2000 and 2500s. 1965 Ford Zodiac, which has three Mark III Zodiacs here. Fantastic. Someone's also in the fantastic of mowing this lawn, but the lawn's really, really short at the moment. And then there's this um, replica little van thing. I have no idea what this is. That's an Austin badge on it. I wonder if this is, a, a, like, mini-based or something. It could be based on an Edio 16 or something. And a Ford Grill. Um, none of the wisest of yours today. And uh, another refer to convertible, excellent. Sounds good. Probably a six cylinder. 8990. Powered by BMW, what is this then? This is something based on like an E30 chassis or something. It can't be because the chassis itself is different. It's a custom chassis with some BMW running gear in it. Who knows? 1967 Ford Mustang in a very, very nice shade of blue. That is uh, quite tasty views. And then um, another one of these sort of custom hot rod jobs. The what that actually is sort of based on. I'm going to skip this Defender again, I'm not sure what engine's in that. This looks very much like a Rover 414. I could be wrong. The um, seats are a little bit of a giveaway. It's been early R8400. I'm so sorry, viewers. It's a 416 SLI. I should have known better. I've been duped. Never mind. Yeah, 1990, 1991. These came out in 1990. It's a very early one. Obviously, with the uh, four speed Honda automatic gearbox and the Honda D series engine. Never actually driven an, an R8 400. I've driven all other R8s and not a, a 400 saloon. There we go. Um, this one, again, one of these custom hot rods. Something very interesting just turned up here. I mean, we'll have a look at it in a moment, but we need to just finish down here. And then um, a couple of bay window Volkswagens. That's a 76, although it's got a 71 plate on it for reasons I don't quite understand. But there we go. Um, this one is, is it a right-hand drive or is it another left-hand drive? Another left-hand drive. 72, 73 on L. And then 72, 73 um, Rolls-Royce Silver Shadow, which is at a custom matte paint job. I think we saw this view at the Cranley Lions Classic Car Show. Someone's also had a red interior put in here. And it's got cruise control. Well, I can smell the leather from here. Excellent. Someone's obviously been having, having fun making this look as custom as possible. You can see even the rear lights have been changed on that. Same era, the Triumph Stag, Mark II this one is. Early Mark II. Be about 1973. And then we've got a Klux, sorry, Chuck's truck, not Klux truck, Chuck's truck, 1964 Ford. And then another bay window, this one's a right-hand drive one, 79 to 80, this sort of pea green colour. What does it look like in here? It looks V chilled. I'd like to be V chilled as well viewers. It is rather a warm day so I might have an ice cream later. Right let's look at the final row. Fabulous. Sorry about the camera wall there viewers. I don't know what's going on. Um, a Mark 1 Previa. Wonderful. I remember these very well. On the GL, the engine's in the, uh, well, in an unusual place. It's kind of sort of here somewhere. So not the best access in the world, but amazing car. That's even got a CD changer in it. Wonderful. Also wonderful is this 
rather nice high specification Mark 1 Clio. Phase uh, 3 they call these, 96, 97, 1.4 RT, which was sort of somewhat towards the top of the range. I mean, the ones that the brothers were sort of uh, the, the Beccara, but that's still very nice. Then they customised Morris 1000. A bit different from the ones you normally see at shows, and someone's got a piston there for a gear lever. I imagine we've had upgraded brakes and. Oh, very good. Well, Lancia, uh, what, V4 or something in there, maybe. Have we got lots more modern cars here? We've got a, um, what do they call these, uh, these saloons? I forget now. It, it's like an A class saloon or something, I think these are called. Got a CLA, that's it, sorry, CLA 45S. And then an Audi RS3. Audi RS4, Audi S4. So the Audi and uh, sort of uh, RS and S models and AMG models are welcome at the show. As are sort of things like the Dodge Challenger here. Just another plate. And then um, a very, very nice BMW 8 Series with Brembo brakes. Mmm, pillarless coupe. And a manual gearbox. Fantastic. I don't know if that's an 840C. Most of them are 840s. That one's got an extraordinary dash of there's about a million buttons on there. And we've got um, some Porsche action. So, yeah, box to S. It's coming out, I better get out of the way, this gentleman here. And is that a Jaguar XFR? Supercharged, it probably is, 2011 to 2012. I have driven one of these, but it was not as exciting as this, in the slightest degree. Yep, XFR, that one's called. And then uh, Ford Mustang. 2005, that must have personal plate. Mm, is that a V8 manual views? I mean, if it's a V8 manual, that will be fun. 2011 Dodge Challenger, DC60 USA, and then an F Type S. Again, that'll be quite quick, won't it? I must at some point in my life drive a Jaguar F type. I think it'd be much fun if I was able to do that. BMW M6, one of these sort of what they call bangle shape six series. And then a couple of Vauxhall badged Holdens, effectively. This is uh, what we call the VXR8. Look at that. LS3 6.2 litre V8. Yep, VXR8. Very, very quick. Be about 2008, and then this is HSV badge, but it might well be just a Vauxhall Bonaro. Some badges changed, and of course, I have driven one of these. It was a six speed manual, it's just a basic Bonaro, it's a 2005. Still really quick, quite heavy on the clutch, though, not the easiest thing to drive smoothly, but very nice. It makes a nice noise. I hope we'll finish off here, viewers, with this uh, little mini here. Just spotted this. That's very nice. It's a, a sort of customised one from the 80s, sort of 88, 89. Anyway, that's it from Departure Lad Alton for our Classic Car Sunday. Thank you very much indeed once again for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe to the channel, like this video, comment below, and we shall see you again very shortly for some more shambolic shuffles and incorrect information.